says a game has to be close to be great? Who says you need late inning drama or a last second defensive stand for a game to be really compelling? Last night in Bowie, Maryland, about a dozen NFL players teamed up to take on some of our nation's very finest in a charity softball outing. It wasn't that close. In fact, it wasn't close at all. But that didn't matter because this game was destined for greatness thanks to some real American heroes. His team was made up of world-class athletes. Big, fast, strong superstars. But somehow, Torrey Smith knew how this would end. What type of game do you expect? Um, I expect them to win by a landslide based on how we look in warm-ups. It was the NFL squad versus the United States amputee softball team. A confident bunch, to say the least. Does team ever lose? Once in a while. But you better bring a lot of game for us to lose. They don't like to lose. Are you ready for a <laughs> serious deal here? Yeah, I'm ready. You know, I'm definitely ready. I don't like to lose either. Redskins wide receiver Josh Morgan, the Ravens' Torrey Smith, Marvin Austin of the Giants, they help make up the blue team. The opposition? We all have a, a missing limb. An All-American team, if ever there was one. From Phoenix, Arizona, by way of Desert Storm, served in the United States Army, Todd. In fact, all heroes would be more like it. I lost my leg below the knee in Afghanistan in uh, April 2004, and um, that's about it. I mean, it's, it's, I don't look at it as a disability. Uh, I look at it as a, an advantage and uh, uh, mostly as an ability. I talked to a couple of them, and they were so nonchalant. Yeah, I lost my right leg in, in 2007, and it didn't really phase them. Can you imagine losing a leg? I couldn't, man. Um, you know, some of the things we go through, some of the injuries we go through in football can be stressful. But when you see these guys and you see the, the stuff that they deal with and, you know, the, their perseverance and their ability to just adapt and, you know, get on and, and still be happy and see the smiles in their face, it makes you appreciate everything you have. Team USA travels the country, each player with his profound personal story of perseverance. I spent 12 and a half years in the Army. I was with the 82nd Airborne and 10 Special Forces. In 1991, we were on a patrol in northern Iraq, walking down a dirt path, and I stepped on a landmine and blew my right foot off. Do you think you'd be here today playing softball? Oh, I knew I would be. When I was in Walter Reed, one of the first questions I asked the doctor was if I'd be able to play softball again. And he looked a little dumbfounded and said, more people are, you know, people are more concerned about what they're going to do for a living. And I told him, I said, if I can play softball again, I'll be able to do anything. The game was close, at least to start. But even as Team USA racked up the runs and made it a route, nothing but respect from the other side. After all, this really was one big team on that one big field. It's a blessing for us, all of us, to come together. You know, we all out here for a purpose, and just to have them out there competing with us, and just playing and having fun, is just I'm, I'm, I'm just, ha I'm so happy to be here. They're missing limbs, and they're out there making all kinds of plays that, you know, we can barely make. You know, I think it says a lot about them. It's a cliche about perspective with this, but it's not a cliche. It's true. It's real life, you know. It's real life. I mean, these guys are, you know, my legs are sore from OTAs this week, and you know, these guys are missing limbs. I can't complain when, you know, these guys are out there in real life battles. You know, I'm out here playing the same game I've been playing since I was a little kid. You know, it's completely different, and you know, we definitely respect them and appreciate them for that. Event organizers tell me $50,000 was raised for wounded, war wounded warrior charities. How about that final score? 21 to 5 for Team USA. Uh, props go out to Medical Center Orthotics and Prosthetics for outfitting the fellas, and I'm sure lots of women out there as well uh, who have sacrificed so much as they come back uh, from battle. Uh, thanks to all of you out there who helped out. Great evening in Bowie. Thanks to all of you for all your service. Uh, more thoughts on Toyota Sports Talk after the game. Don't go away.